Do we have any questions, Andrew, coming in? We do. Uh, Ryan asked, uh, he said, hello, Johan, upgrading Windows 10 to Windows 11. Would you rely on Config Manager or Intune? Can Intune update drivers after the OS upgrade? All right. Uh, I mean, for feature updates, I'm, I'm still a big fan of, of using Config Manager if the customer have it because as, as most of you know when you have a sequence it gives you a lot of control what you can do before the upgrade during the upgrade and after the upgrade but it doesn't mean that you can't achieve some of that through intune as well uh, you can definitely have a, a, for example a script that proactive remediation something in intune that makes sure to stage drivers onto the machine and modify the setup config file so that when it's actually time to do the feature update, even when driven from Intune, it will pick up those changes. You have these pre and post scripts that you can run as basically batch files calling PowerShell scripts typically. So that there is uh, options to, to get some level of control if you have Intune only in your environment as well. Um, if you don't have config manager set up, you only have Intune, but still want to use sequences, uh, all hope is not lost. Uh, it is possible with some um, uh, creativity. Um, and I posted of this back in, it's a long time ago, but if you put your mind to it, you, you can actually run MDT sequences from Intune as well, because Intune can certainly download that media and initiate the start of that deployment through uh, a script wrapper in the Win32 app or just the regular one script if you have content stored elsewhere uh, for this. So certainly doable, but uh, I'm a big fan of, of sequences, a uh, big fan of multiple sequences even. Um, I typically have it set up uh, something like this. Um, where we have a validation sequence that we run first on all devices. Purpose is making sure they are ready for the upgrade, making sure they are, uh, we cache the content on their hard drive. And then once we verify that the machines are ready, we have an actual upgrade sequence that uh, runs the upgrade. So like the second part of that sequence. But there is nothing, as I mentioned earlier, that prevents you to achieve similar stuff on the Intune platform only. It's just that you have to do a little bit of scripting on your own because there's like no ready-made templates in Tune for it. Um, yeah, that's my, my take on that one. <laughs> 